The Paeonians were an ancient people who inhabited the central Balkans, primarily in what is today North Macedonia and parts of northern Greece and western Bulgaria. Their territory stretched along the upper Vardar River, forming a cultural and political bridge between the Greeks, Thracians, and Illyrians. Early Greek sources, such as Herodotus and Thucydides, treated them as a separate but familiar people. They traded with nearby Macedonians and Greek colonies, and by the classical period, Paeonian elites adopted aspects of Greek material culture, including pottery styles and coinage. In the 4th century BCE, the rising Macedonian kingdom began to assert dominance over Paeonia, eventually incorporating it as a vassal state. Some Paeonian kings became allies of Alexander the Great, even serving in Macedonian armies. For this video, I have collected the raw genomes of 10 historical North Macedonian samples dating to the Iron Age. I used academic tools such as AdmixTools 1 and 2 to analyze their genomes, but also my own tools, such as Trait Predictor and Mageplot. The Paeonians had a substantial amount of Greek ancestry. This PADA model finds 73% Greek ancestry, together with 24% Paleo-Balkan and 3% Slavic ancestry. According to FST analysis computed with AdmixTools 2, the Paeonians are closest to modern Albanians, North Macedonians, and Greeks. I ran a FST matrix generated with AdmixTools 1 through Vahaduo to model the Paeonians with modern ethnicities as references. They ended up closest to Moldovans and Greeks, and, to my surprise, scored quite a bit of Slavic in the three-way models. I used this same FST matrix to construct a phylogenetic tree, according to which, the Paeonians cluster closely with Moldovans and more distantly with the Spanish, North Italians, and Albanians. According to this Mesolithic QPADM run, the Paeonians have heavy Anatolian Neolithic ancestry, at almost 70%, but with substantial European hunter-gatherer ancestry as well. Let's move on to their trait predictor results. The most common Y lineages observed were G2A, J2A, and R1B. The most common predicted phenotypes were various ponted types. Almost every sample had brown eyes, with the exception of one sample who likely had lighter eye color. No sample was predicted to have blonde hair, virtually every sample had brown or black hair. Their predicted skin colors were uniformly olive. Curly was the most common hair texture, although no sample scored kinky hair. Almost every sample was predicted to have a Greek nose shape. Male pattern baldness was prevalent. The Paeonians had low odds of Tourette's, low odds of ADHD, high odds of bipolar type 2, also linked to depression, and low odds of bipolar type 1, also linked with schizophrenia. The Paeonians had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, low odds of Alzheimer's, high odds of epilepsy, and very high odds of myopia. Regarding cancers, the Paeonians had a typical predisposition to polycythemia vera by European standards, according to their J, A, K2 genotypes. They were uniformly predisposed to testicular cancer based on KITLG genotypes, which is also typical for Europeans. The Paeonians had typical odds of leukemia, low odds of epithelial cancers, and very high odds of glioma, also known as brain cancer. They scored low for odds of atrial fibrillation, low for odds of various cardiovascular issues, low for odds of type 2 diabetes, and low for odds of obesity based on FTO genotypes. It seems that, as a whole, the Paeonians weren't very susceptible to metabolic conditions. The Paeonians were strongly protected from type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and various autoimmune conditions based on HLA genotypes. The warrior phenotype, associated with lower dopamine levels and quicker dopamine reuptake, was common among the Paeonians. Autism risk was high. Almost every sample was likely lactose intolerant. Empathy predisposition was high. The Paeonians scored low for odds of allergies. Only one sample carried risk variants for hemochromatosis, also known as Celtic curse, based on HFE genotypes. It so happens that sample was actually homozygous for one of the variants and possibly was affected by the condition. Homocysteine levels were intermediate. For samples carried risk variants for colorblindness, all of them carrying variants for blue-yellow colorblindness in OPN1SW. Most common blood types were O, followed by A, and then B. No sample had the rare AB blood group. You can purchase these genomes from the link in the description. There you will also find purchase links for my tools and services.